The transfiguration happens amid challenges in Jesus' ministry and shortly before the Passion. Jesus may have been struggling at this point with his sense of mission and with fears about the future. It was also just after the disciples had been rattled by what Jesus had said, predicting his death. We also find ourselves in a very difficult time with all the fears and struggles of living through a pandemic. Like the disciples, our faith may have taken a knock. We may wonder where God has been or be doubting the meaning and the purpose of our own lives. Where is God? Will we ever get to the other side of this? We may be grieving the loss of loved ones or a way of working that is no longer possible for us. For Jesus, and for those who were with him, the experience of the transfiguration was a rare and life-transforming moment. They could never forget what they had seen and felt on that mountain that day. It was an experience of such power and significance that it was indelibly imprinted on their memories. Especially at this time, it may help us to think back on our own lives. Are there any transfiguration moments that we can recall when we had a powerful experience of God's closeness, our identity, or our mission? It might be a moment that we experienced in a time of prayer, or perhaps an event that stands out for us, the birth of a child or the making of a big commitment, perhaps simply an out-of-the-blue deep conviction of being loved and chosen by God. Perhaps today, go back in memory to that moment of consolation. Using your senses, enter into it again. See what you saw, hear what you heard. Recall what you felt and knew at that moment. And then take some time to speak with the Lord about that experience. Tell him what message it holds for you now. And listen to what he has to say to you in response. Mm -hmm.